and clothings and in today's video we are going to be making the sleeve of the last tutorial we posted okay so we are still going to be making the canadian smoking sleeve yes i know a lot of you have done it already a lot of you understand what went down in that video but some of you asked to be requested that i retake it and since i already have a dress that i'm going to put the sleeve inside why not do it again and also this time fingers crossed the recording will not be out of frame also we have like a live experiment putting it in so you see how these kind of sleeves are inserted still the same way okay so let us get right into this video all right so we have our materials for this project okay remember this are beautiful fabric that we used for the wrap of that tutorial that's the um, duchess silk fabric we're going to be using it for the sleeve remember i said when you're doing the sleeve i've not tried using ankara or cotton or any stiff kind of fabric i just used um all these ones so i'm going to be using this fabric for the sleeve i have my sleeve pattern and this sleeve pattern has one one inch allowance already but this sleeve I'm going to be doing is not long sleeve this time. I'm going to be doing elbow length sleeve. My elbow length is 13, 14 inches. That's what I'll measure and do. Cut it out, okay? So let's quickly do that. Okay, so I have measured where the elbow length will get. So I'll just fold this one in and I'll straighten it out again. <laughs> when i need to use it so let me just fold it along that pencil mark i measured 15 inches okay so that when it um, smokes up it will fill up that place so now i'll fold this let me see if the if it'll get to 15 inches like so yeah it's getting there so i'll use that folded edge Remember, I'm doing salvage to salvage, and let me do it this way. Okay, so let me even see eventually what the sleeve length is. So I'm having 16 and a half inches in total. That's my sleeve length here. So that if it smokes and go up and the sides do smokes together, I can still measure out my um, normal sleeve. So I'm doing two sleeves. I'll do one on camera. The other one, I'll do it off camera. So first of all, we need to draw our lines. Remember, we needed lines in that tutorial. So let me put it this way. I'll just fold it into two so that I can notch the midpoint instead of measuring it out. I'll notch where the midpoint is in here. And um, the other one is here. So open it up and draw a straight line to match those points together so make sure you have a straight line draw it again so that you can see it because me I can see it though I don't know if you see it okay next you need to draw another one inch line beside it 
so i'll just put my ruler that way and use the ruler as the guide for the other one inch so draw it close to the line Then roll the other one inch beside it. Please, this fabric is playing me a joro. It's just dancing in my hand. That's why it seems like my line is not straight. So please be more careful. And because I want the line to show, it's just dancing in my hand. So the lines are just like guidelines for you, okay? Okay, so you see my lines, ah? Uh, okay, now I'm going to draw lines across as well, one one inch across from this up. So one inch, uh, this lines, fabric is just dancing in my hand. one inch one inch Okay, so this is the marking of of our lines that will serve as our guide to sew up the, the the sleeve design so this one at the bottom will be hemmed we'll put hemming gum there hemming gum and hem that part the other part will go into the sleeve we're not true we need to draw diagonal lines so we're going to be drawing lines across like this so from one point to the other point that's in that square in each of the squares you draw diagonal lines in each of the squares diagonal lines in each of the squares diagonal lines so leave one box now the other place where you left the box you now be slanting it like a v but coming from the other line so diagonal boxes diagonal lines all right so we can begin sewing because we have our lines we'll be starting from this first point here okay we we have already threaded our needle and we're using it in this um, color or oh, you look for a matching color now from this corner pinch it that's um secure secure the thread you knot the end and you secure it then now take your line pinch it this way so you're taking your thread like this and you pinch it this way and you secure it as well don't pull it through just secure it and now take it back to this part pinch both of them now you can pull it through okay so hide that thread inside and now secure it with a tight stitch secure those two points with a tight stitch and knot it at that point
okay that's the first one now for the second one move your thread to this other corner like this and secure it on this point secure secure now take it to this point where the other diagonal line is across secure don't pull through just secure it there now you can use this and catch this thread and secure it well so it's closed there so it close well there. okay great now that you're done move your thread to this other point catch this corner so you're done with that catch this corner secure don't pull it through just secure it now come to this corner catch here where are you going okay secure and secure okay Okay, now that you've secured it, now tighten it there. Okay, great. Now come to this part, catch this thread. Now hide that stitch inside that point. Tighten it and tighten it again. Okay, so we are good. You can see how this part is already forming the style. Okay, so take your thread back to this point, catch it there. Let me lay it flat so that you'll be seeing it. Don't pull through, just secure it. Let's secure and <laughs> put more thread because this thread is out. Let's just knot it at that point and put thread okay so i'll secure it again there i'll secure it again there and secure it again there catch it a little now catch it here secure don't pull it through just let it relax let it relax, don't pull it through. Okay, and now take the thread and catch this one and then pull it together. Then tighten that part up. Should that come up it on? No. Okay, so if the thread is cut that way, please just leave it that way. You can always cut it because it has been secured there. Now here, take your thread and catch that point. Catch it again.
and now take it to this other point catch it catch it again now catch these two together and tighten it Okay, so now come to this other point, catch it. Why is my thread just doing this way? Thread has started again. Catch it again. Now catch it here. Catch it again. Okay, then move it over here, secure, then here, please let's cut all this thread that is dangling here. Okay. So since we have secured there, we come here, catch here, and secure. We're already having the style, style design. You can see it already forming, looking lovely. So let's continue. okay guys this is what the inside is okay this one is simple yeah and this is what the outside will look like so you just go ahead to hem that part up okay so now that it's giving you this natural curviness i don't think you need to straighten it up just follow that curve and hem it that way okay i think i'll just stitch tack that place down together so that it follows the natural <laughs> natural vibe is giving me natural curve there so i can use a hemming gum i'll just trim that place okay in place let me trim it So 
so I'll use that one to hem the I'll put hemming gum there and hem it down and here we'll just go into the sleeve this fullness I'll put the fullness there I can tack it down so it doesn't just open up I'll put the fullness there and here will be the hemming part so let me do the other sleeve so it closed do the hemming gum fit it into the sleeve hole and finish this tutorial up okay so see you in a minute Alright, so we have joined the sleeves together. I'll just trim this part into that armhole there. As that bulk in it, that excess that is there, I'll just trim it. Check if this this one too has that excess. See, I'll just trim it off. Okay, so that means this one will be for okay so this is how the sleeve will be in there okay and this is the front of this cloth so i'll be putting this one in here i'll take the sleeve place it in here i can also trim this excess that is up here just trim it into the armhole there so it's smooth okay so I'll take that sleeve and put it that under arm point to under arm point pin it along those areas and sew it down so this is how you just go about sewing the sleeve into the armhole it's just like normal sleep, putting normal sleep in the armhole. Okay. And yeah, pin it at that up part too. Okay, so this is what you'll be having there. And I'll do the same thing for this one into the armhole if i have any excess i trim it off on the dress put it into the seam of the dress like so So after you've pinned it and sew it down, this is what you'll be having, okay? I'm sure you've seen it already and you like what you see. So if you want to try that out as well, please do try it out. Don't forget to tag me, tag us to your sewing creations. We'll feature you on our community page, okay? And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for all the love. I love you all. Till we see you in our next tutorial. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye.